another approach to reducing the number of labels required involving uh, adversarial learning processes is virtual adversarial training invented by Takeru Miyato. Uh, in this benchmark here produced by uh, my collaborators at Google, we studied several different semi-supervised learning techniques, and we found that among the techniques we studied, virtual adversarial training was the best. You can see that on the x-axis, on the right side of the plot, where a lot of, of labels are available, all the different methods perform about the same, but only virtual adversarial training holds up well as we go to the extreme limit of very few labels. So what is virtual adversarial training exactly? In adversarial training, we train a classifier to be robust to adversarial perturbations. We make each of those adversarial perturbations by looking at the probability that the classifier assigns to the correct label and trying to reduce that probability. Uh, virtual adversarial training extends this process to also be able to learn from unlabeled data. Originally, we were not able to make adversarial examples for unlabeled data because we don't have the real label. The insight in the paper by Takeru Miyato is to use the model itself to provide a virtual label. In other words, when the model predicts the label, we just treat that as the true label for the purpose of creating adversarial examples. And then we train the model to classify the original clean unlabeled example the same as the corrupted adversarial example. Basically, you can think of this as a way of giving the model more constraints on its learning process. Usually, we use labels to say, this one example should be labeled exactly the same as, as this training label. Uh, but we, we don't have more indirect constraints. Virtual adversarial training introduces a lot of indirect constraints, saying among these two unlabeled, adver uh, unlabeled examples, both should have the same label. We don't know what that label is, but the two examples should at least be labeled consistently. And this brings in enough extra information about the task that the model can perform much better.